If you guys are tired of grinding my career just to get your overall up or your badges, no worries. Hit up Legit Grinders. They're the cheapest and fastest and most legit badge grinders in the 2K community. The link will be in the description. Brr, let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? It is the Goat White Boy of 2K. It is Young Dirk. Now, you guys know I sadly got cut from the NBA 2K League last year but that is okay so if you guys have any hopes of making the league some new info was just leaked okay so if you plan on trying out for the league or you want to make the league the first qualifying um steps have been leaked so before i get into that if you guys are new make sure you join the goat gang and hit that subscribe button and if we could get this video to 500 likes, I would really appreciate it. And also, let me know in the comments what you guys think, okay? And it's actually pretty big news, and I am very happy about this. So let's get into this. Okay, so I have the tweet in my hand right now. Now, it says, The league is not officially confirmed, but this is early information from very credible sources. So it's going to be... Most likely what I'm gonna say if there's small changes, there'll be small changes But it's gonna be around this because it's gonna be similar to last year So the first thing it says is to qualify for the combine you need a hundred wins now It does not specify if it needs to be team pro-am or in the Jordan wreck Last year as you guys know it was 50 wins and walk on so which was idiotic because everybody knows that 2K Combine was full of bums, full of people who didn't care, who didn't care about making the league. They were just doing it for fun. So this year, it's a little better. But I personally don't think 100 is enough. Now, let me skip to the next bullet. It says, all must be done in a 25-day period. Now, I personally think... It should be 150 to 200 wins because let me tell you guys something if you want something that bad you will fucking go and get it if it was 500 wins in 25 days you can guarantee I will stay up for three weeks straight I do not care if you want something you should go and get it and that's why I think the it still needs to be harder this should be hard this is a life changing experience doesn't make any sense to me at all if this need if this is this is literally you're you're signing a contract with the nba this should be hard as you guys know the to make the nba is nearly impossible i think it's it's to make the the nba like the real nba i think it's a uh, 0.00008 chance of making the league it should be that hard this is just a virtual nba so you guys, let me say this. You guys, I don't want you guys to get upset. Everybody is entitled to their own opinions. If you do not agree with me, that is fine. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments. I am very curious. Because if you guys played in the Combine last year, you guys know that shit was AIDS. There was players, anytime they saw someone with clout, they were purposely not passing them the ball to make them look bad. We cannot have people like that again. The next thing it says was, is you must maintain a 50% win percentage in these 100 wins. I guess that helps a little, but that means you can literally lose 100 games. So you can go 100 and 100. So, I mean, maybe you won't have enough time for that. So, okay, I guess I didn't ever think about that. Let me grab my phone and do some math quick. Hold on, you guys. So... If each prime game takes 40 minutes, right? And let's see. Let's say you play for eight hours straight, okay? So eight hours. Uh, how many minutes are in an hour? 60 times 80. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. 60 times eight. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not going to edit this. I don't even care. 60 times eight divided by 40. So you can play 12 games a day times 25. So you can real, real realistically play 300 games but i still think the win percentage should be like a 60 or a 
70 because like I said, you're looking for the best players in the world, right? Why would you be happy with a 50 win percentage? That doesn't make any sense to me. If you're looking for the top players on the planet, you should want the standards to make this league should be very high. That is what I do not understand. So what we have next is, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. That is all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go out. Bye. <laughs>